Burr. Lord, her mercy is cold. <clears throat> so it was a no call, no show. I guess a lot of people. It was going to be a no call, no show today. Hey, YouTube. Prime Time Squad. I'm on my way to the workplace and happen to run across Sean Bradley's YouTube channel where I found out that somebody did a no-call no-show to court today. <sighs> now, a lot of people figured that would happen. And I'm wondering, did that person really not think they didn't have to show up in court today? Or did they plan not going to court today? Um, ooh, it's cold, it's so darn cold today. I should do a no call, no show today to work. But then I'll be messing with my coins, see. Can't do nothing to mess around with your coins cause them coins pay them bills. Not YouTube. <laughs> Definitely not YouTube. YouTube do not pay this girl's bills. So, working this job and slinging them good old custom design personalized professional cakes like I do is how I pay my coins. But anywho, I wasn't shocked. A lot of people, I think, weren't shocked either that um, somebody who was uh, doing court today didn't show up for court today. Was y'all surprised? Nothing, nothing anymore surprises me. Nothing anymore surprises me. But then I'm like, what now? What now? I think Sean said he has to go to court like again or two more times. And then 5A has to go to court. I think uh, Friday. I think 5A has to go to court for the same situation. The same person. Um, I wonder what... Um, they show up to anybody's course dates. Or would they just blow them off? All of them. Because, you know, they know about the court date. Everybody and their mama talking about it on YouTube. Everybody and their mama talking about it on YouTube. And then, um, people been sending Sean, uh, videos of um, her or proof that let's see, can I park right here? Oh, dang, parking all jacked up. Proof that they knew they had to be in court, and they was like, Oh, forget that, bump that. They don't give a damn about the court, they don't give a damn about Sean, um, making them or uh, making the court, summoning them to court for the restraining order. I just want to know what now? Is it going to be like an automatic approval for a restraining order? And how does that work? Because when Kaya and T.S. or Maddie and uh, Michelle, when they all went to court, they was just like, oh, just leave each other alone. Just keep each other's name out of each other's mouths. <laughs> And you see how that worked. <laughs> they still be saying each other's names. Even if they might sometimes use like a code name or a nickname, they still talk about each other from time to time. So I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I just wanted to see how it was gonna, all going to play out. If it is at all possible for the courts to really um, sentence, sentence somebody per se, to never ever speak your name and never bother you or harass you on the internet. So I wanted to see how that will play out. But anyhow, let me get my butt in here to this job. I really don't want to be here. It's so good and cold. Tonight they said it's going to feel like negative 25 below. Tomorrow morning they said it's going to feel like negative 35 below. So 
the kids I'm sure aren't going to have school tomorrow. I already told my son yesterday he wasn't going to school, so it don't matter what the schools say in my household. If it's too cold to be standing out there on the bus stop sucking on a lollipop, then it's too cold to go to school. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get into this workplace. I will hit y'all back up later this evening because we're going to talk about this a little bit.